is your 2010 forecast brought to you by InsightfulAstrology.com. Pisces, I am thrilled for you because you've had a few years of instability, chaos, massive changes, and just literally you wake up in the morning and you don't know what to expect half the times. Well, guess what? That trend is wrapping up this year for good. And why that's happening is because Uranus, the planet of instability and chaos and revolution, will be leaving your sign after this year. It's been in your sign for about seven years and it has revolutionized you from the inside out. Well, when Uranus leaves your sign, that massive personal revolution will be complete. And finally, you can steady yourself again and have some routine and know that your relationships will also become more steady as well. On May 27th until August 13th, Uranus will dip into your second house, changing your sense of self-worth and your personal values and having you revolutionize your talents and abilities. And it'll also shake up your, your money and your, your ability to earn income through new revolutionary ways. But the last licks of Uranus to your sign will happen from August 13th until March of 2011. After that period, Uranus is out of your sign. Gone, goodbye, let the stability come to you finally. Jupiter, the planet of expansion and abundance, will be in your sign this year from January 17th until June 6th, and then again from September 9th until January 22nd of 2011. When Jupiter is in your sign, it's a once in 12 year opportunity for personal growth and expansion that should not be wasted. This is a time when you will feel more optimistic and enthusiastic about your potential and the possibilities in your life than you have in a very long time. It's very probable that with Jupiter going through your first house that new opportunities will just come to you, knocking at your door unexpectedly. New opportunities for partnership as well and for growth in partnerships, whether it be business or personal. Because whatever affects the first house in astrology affects the seventh house of relationships. But this is Jupiter we're talking about, so it's all positive, it's all good. You have my green light for any type of partnership this year. It will be very, very positive for you. As far as relationships go, Saturn, that planet of restriction, will be making a last visit to your seventh house of relationship from April 7th until July 21st. Now, Jupiter expands, but Saturn restricts. However, this is the last kind of run of Saturn in this part of your chart. And since it's the last visit, it's likely to be a culmination. It's likely to be a time where you've already done most of the work. Saturn just wants to make sure you got your lesson straight. And there may be one little final test to a relationship. It could also be a time where you really structure a partnership in a positive way that will lead to growth. Because remember, Jupiter will be in your first house of self and development. And with Saturn in your seventh house, there could be a nice balance between expansion and goals as well as working together in a more structured way in a partnership. If you are single, there's an eclipse that happens on July 11th that could spell new love for you. It's a solar eclipse. It falls in your fifth house of romance and creative self-expression and children. And for some of you, it could uh, bring a pregnancy if you're looking to start a family. But for single Pisceans, it is very likely to bring new love. It's also a favorable time to begin a new creative project. Now, as we begin the year, Pisces, Mars, the planet of action and energy, will be retrograde. And it will be retrograde until March 10th in your sixth house of work and service and health. So it's possible that as we begin the new year until March, you are kind of backtracking on a lot of work projects. Maybe you're falling behind and you, you just don't have that energy to push ahead and complete your assignments according to the deadline or the time schedule that you normally would. 
give yourself some extra time. Don't be too hard on yourself. Know that this lull in energy is temporary and after March 10th, you will be zooming ahead in all of your projects. Uranus will give you the itch for something new in career because the ruler of your 10th house will be linked up to Uranus on June 8th and again on September 18th. And that tells me that you want something new in career. So you can have either a new opportunity around this time, you can just have an itch to kind of try something that you've never tried before and you'll go for it and it should be very positive. I see growth with it. So don't be afraid to try something that you maybe said to yourself you would never do before. Now's the time to go ahead and do it. As far as money goes, Venus, the planet of money, will be retrograde from October 8th until November 18th. Now Venus rules your eighth house of joint finances. This will be a time where you may be forced to revisit debt and partnership agreements that have to do with finances. And it's good to revisit them now because while the, the planet of money is retrograde, you'll have a strong ability to kind of see what you may have missed. and and really make sure that things are going where they're supposed to go for the future, for after November 18th. So revisit old debt issues, tie them up, get those partnerships equaled out, and you'll, you'll benefit from it after the Venus turns direct. So overall, Pisces, the massive chaos that you've had over the past few years will start to edge off finally. 2010 may not be complete stability, but you will surely get a taste of calm.